Hey everybody, Hecarus here. Welcome to the Long Dark Winter's Embrace event. So, the temperature has dropped on Great Bear Island as Winter's Embrace comes to the Long Dark. During this event, the weather is harsher and surviving will be even more difficult. While the risks are greater, the rewards are too. With two limited time in-game badges to be earned. Alright, so, let's get into this and see how bad this really is. I know that the temperatures are going to be like 10 degrees cooler, I think it's Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius cooler outside and inside. Uh, more frequent blizzards. There's also two new items to uh, find in a game. Um, ketchup chips and maple syrup. And so they're sort of like uh, celebrating Canada Day, which is July 1st. So uh, I, as I'm recording it, it is July 1st. So happy Canada Day, everybody. Hopefully I get this out on today. I've moved into the new house, finally. And uh, ooh, here we go, 29 days, 20 hours, 14 minutes remaining. So yeah, here we go. There's the time period that uh, this event will take place, which is nice for me because I do work a lot. Uh, I do have a full-time job. So random. I'll start in a random. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's be Will, I guess. Ooh, I get to pick my feats at least. Okay. Um. Let's see here. If it, I'm gonna need cold fusion. Yeah, that's gonna be helpful. Oh. Oh no 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 no. Cancel cancel. Activate. That's what I want. Okay, uh, efficient machine. Yeah, we want that. Sprinting burns less calories. That sounds pretty good, too. Look smart. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be that smart or not. Snow walker. Stamina bar recharges faster. That seems more important to me than being intelligent. Alright, let's do this. Uh, happy Canada day. There we go. Let's get started here. Oh gosh, please be a good spawn. <laughs> don't, don't be Hushed River Valley or something like that. Oh Jesus, nighttime too? Okay, where am I? Oh God, okay, what do I got on? Did they give me at least some decent clothes? They gave me a windbreaker at least and look, some nice snazzy dress shoes. I hear... Hmm. I'm not sure where I'm at, but we're going to start picking up sticks. What's the temperature out here? Let me check here. Oh, negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, we're going get, to get cold quick here. Let's start picking up sticks. Man, that volume is really loud. Stand by one second while I turn that down. It's just, my ears are practically bleeding at this point. Hey, at least it'll help keep my myself warm. Alright, am I where I got into trouble last time? Is this... Where am I? Hmm. This is... Is this Hush River? Oh, uh, this might be Hush River. Wait, let me check my map. Uh, Mountain Town. Okay. So... Should... I, I believe Mountain Town. What the, I'm trying to remember. Where the hell is Mountain Town? I, I call them... The, the bad thing is I call everything by my own nickname. I don't... I don't use... I don't always use what Hinderland uses, so I have a bad association with whatever they actually call it. Well, we got ourselves a church. Oh, this is Milton, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milton! Alright, here we go. The church! Alright, well, this isn't going to be too bad. Alright, Milton's going to be good. Uh, we are completely defenseless, so this should be interesting. So we want to cat. We want to um, survive for 25 days to get one of the achievements, and then we want to. I think there's a bunch of. Should be a bunch of. Let's grab some of these real quick. There should be a bunch of um, ketchup chips and maple syrup around. We need to get 25 of those each to get the other achievement. I don't know. It's like the Happy Canuck achievement or something. I don't know. Cheerful Canuck. Alright, let's just uh, grab some of these for dinner tonight. We got some deer out here. One deer, at least. Uh, I don't even know if I have a cooking vessel at this point. Hopefully we find something inside. I don't know what the loot's going to be like. Is it going to be like um, interloper? Or is it going to be like stalker levels of loot? We got a deer, dead deer here. But it's frozen, so we're not, it's gonna, that's going to be a non-starter. 
The move went well. You know, it just took a while, man. It was the first time I ever actually moved an entire house myself. Um, the last time I moved, I was like five. I moved from Alaska to Ohio, so I, I was pretty uninvolved in that whole process. And, uh, I don't remember. My oh, car. So, anyway, um, yeah. It's a lot more work than I expected, even with the movers. Spray paint. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can spray paint stuff now. You can, like, <laughs> you can represent your your colors. All right, here we go. Plus, I've been busy with that case, that unfortunate case that I mentioned earlier uh, at work. So, I spent literally, well, I can't go into details, but I spent a lot of time just last night not patrolling, but just doing casework. Oh, God, I can't see crap in here. So good. What do we got here? Nothing? Can't see. Can't see Jack. Well, is there a bed here? There's a campfire. Oh, hatchet. Aha. Uh -huh. So we do have probably, it looks like stalker loot tables. Um, so that's good. A plank. Yeah, I don't bother with that right now. Well, that was uh, nice. Cardboard box. A book. We'll take that as a fire starter thing. I don't know what kind of loot we got, but we should probably check. Um... We got two flares, so we can start fires that way. We got some antiseptic. Yeah, this isn't... I mean, we do have a cooking vessel. I mean, they started us off with some water. So I'm kind of spoiled right now, honestly. Um, not used to having this type of stuff. So let's see. A rifle cartridge. Ooh, take that. Man, I'm, I'm better at looting blind, apparently, than... Uh, I'm going to take that book, too. Just a bed pillow. Oh, carpet bed. Um, it's almost daylight. Uh, I say we just warm up here for a minute. What's our... Wait a minute. Calories. Oh, wow, we have a lot of calories. Okay, this ain't gonna be so bad. Oh, wait, it's cold inside. Shoot, I'm probably freezing to death now. I didn't even, I didn't even look at that. Hopefully the bed brought me up. Otherwise, oh, shoot, I'm freaking gonna be dying here. <laughs> we gotta get the bad mom at Juju's house. See, I don't even call him the right thing. It's, it, I forget what her name is, but... I wanted to grab some stuff here while I could. Um... Metal pail, accelerant, sure. We just grab everything at the start. That's just how we do things here. I always like starting fresh. You know, I was kind of like dragging my feet going, oh God, I don't want to go back and have to search for mushrooms in my last series. Oh, it's going to be such a pain. I do have State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition that I just downloaded. I do remember I played State of Decay 2 on the PS4 a little bit. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, base building, zombie apocalypse, sort of survival, putting together your crew... That sort of thing. Okay, let's get out of here. It's too cold in here. I forgot that that's considered sort of like a half open location. Alright, well at least we have we do have some form of self defense. We do get into a tussle. Um and, and honestly, the uh the hatchet is really good defensive weapon against the wolves. What do we got here? Another flare? That's good. More spray paint. Damn taggers. Okay. One of these days, they're going to put something in those visors, I swear. Oh my gosh. Okay. I want to probably keep this series to shorter episodes. Um, one of the things that happened at my house is I, I called ahead of time and I verified with Spectrum that they had service out here. And then I move out here. I'm like, hey guys, set it up. You know, told me I gave you that address before. You said, yeah, we service that area before I moved and all that. Come out here. Oh, sorry, we don't service that area. Oh, really? So they're basically... I'm using uh, Verizon Wireless. Uh, we get um, somehow we get amazing Verizon service out here, and um, sorry, I already checked that. I'm talking more than I should probably, but uh, yeah, we get amazing Verizon service out here. And we had Sprint, so I switched to Verizon, and now I'm using the uh, uh, the little hack for uh, uh, bypassing the throttling for data. On uh, on it using the uh, Netgear Night Nighthawk M1100, and it's working great. I'm getting better upload speeds than I did with Spectrum, so I'm loving that. Uh, download speeds are you know about 30 megabits per second down, and but my uploads are like 20, 15, 20, and before it was like nine, ten. So that's kind of nice. This stuff I know. I'm just chit chatting. Well, I'm freezing to death here. That's okay. When we get somewhere warm, we'll recover. Don't worry. I can't even do that. Okay, well, let's get going here. Ah, okay. Well, hello, Milton. It's wonderful to see you. There's 
probably grab some mushrooms. It's just maybe I can carry them over to my other save. I don't need mushrooms right now. I'm gonna pass on this. I'm just gonna be careful about what I eat. So yeah, I had to get that all squared away. I'm in the process of activating a third line because I have my wife and my cell phone lines, uh, you know, the number one and two lines, and want to get a, a dedicated uh, third line just for that Netgear uh, router. Um, and yeah, it works great. It's been people have been doing it for like a couple of years now, and uh, basically, it, you change your time to live on your PC uh, when you link up to your router. And uh, there's some tutorials online on how to do it. And it uh, makes the router, or the, the, the cellular SIM card, think that your router is a cell phone. And there's no th throttling as long as you're using your cell phone for your data. But as soon as you start using it for other things around the house, that's when it gets throttled. So, I can't use it for the Roku TVs. Um, oh, chips! Hey, baby! Um, because... There's no way to change the time to live that I know of. I might have to... Oh, a car battery. I don't think I'll need that, honestly, for what we're doing here. Our purposes. I don't think we're going to have any issues. Just got to be a little weary about wolves. Let's step out here now. Nothing have six. Basically, this is an interloper with guns. So it's kind of like what I was playing before. But... I don't know. Um... I have some of the Hunter episodes. Uh, I, I, I recorded them before... I uh, switched houses, and I was all prepared to just upload it when I moved here, and just you know let. Is it food? Ooh, fresh venison, 100%. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gonna be smooth sailing, guys. I have a feeling. <laughs> I was kind of spoiled. Um, so basically, at the start of the hunt or the hunter um, episodes in Siberia, I have two of them. I'm talking about like you know there being sort of a hiatus for a month. Uh, when I move. Well, I've recorded those, but now that's all over. So, I didn't have a chance to upload them. I also had a week off. We were supposed to go to Oregon, but then my girls got like a low-grade fever, and they were fine. I mean, they just basically kept bouncing around, but we weren't able to travel. We wouldn't have never made it through TSA. And uh, going out to Oregon from Ohio, they're, they're on more of a lockdown than we are, so there's no, no point in going out there. Plus my sister, who's a nurse, and my wife, who's a uh, nurse as well. Um, they're both like, yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> uh, it's just not end up being not the responsible thing to do for society. So trying to keep you guys from dying and all that stuff. So anyway, more matches. We'll take those. A book. Is it that cold in here? For reals? Wow. Okay. Well, let's put on some clothes then. Shoot. We're gonna have to. I can see that clothes is gonna be a big deal. All right. Let's let's wear that. How are we doing now? We're up to 26. Jeez, what? I'm going to have to lie in bed just to, to recover here. This bed should do it. It should be a 10 degree bed. 14 degree bed. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's just sleep here. For an hour. It should be much warmer. At least we'll start recovering our condition. Alright, there we go. We got a little bit of it back. Uh, enough so we can loot without continuing to die. Cotton toque, we'll take that. We're still looking for better clothes. Once we, uh, let's see here. Let me see. I'll see if for. Wait, this one. That's what I want. Uh, yeah. Throw that on. Better than nothing. Do I have anything else? I don't think I do. Yeah, this one. I think this one's in pretty sh crappy shape. So we're gonna stick with this until I repair this one. Um, and then we'll double up on the hats. A revolver, baby. Useful. Right underneath the bed. Know, kind of where you sort of expect it to be. Is that a revolver round? That is a rifle or a revolver cartridge. So we can go ahead and uh, at least we, at least if things get too dire, we do have one round for ourselves. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and put that away because I can accidentally uh, fire that pretty easily. You don't have to aim down sight before you uh, actually pop off around. You can hip fire that, and all it takes is a twitchy index finger on the old left mouse button. I'm gonna grab all this. Take all. But yeah, the house is great. We love it. It's so nice out here. Um, oh man, I have to show you guys some pictures, and maybe I'll just do a video for you guys of the house, sort of give you the tour. Um, well, find some place to escape this cold. It, it's just, it's just really nice. It's it's. I feel like I'm on vacation 
like all the time out here and we really outgrew our old house um we feel like we have space to breathe out here um we have invisible fence coming to install the invisible fence it's on two acres that's what we have here um, so nothing too crazy got the zero turn going which is awesome uh my wife for father's day spoiled me big time and got me a traeger grill and uh been enjoying grilling on that i'm gonna grill something all oh, right Re more revolver ammo it's gonna get that loaded up here so i've been enjoying that uh it, it's just been it's been good life's been good so i've been very lucky very fortunate Minus the internet issue, but uh, pretty much got that squared away. And uh, just a couple little things. Right now I'm having to switch out my SIM card for my actual phone that I use. Um, my primary phone. Until I get a uh, like a cheap backup phone. And uh, I have a SIM card for a third line that I just need to activate on that. And then I'm going to use that full time in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Netgear Nighthawk M1100. So... That's it, folks. I mean, what else is what's going on with you guys? Just looting, looting, scooting. Oh, that looks, that's going to be really good when we get it fixed up. Nice. Nice. I wish I could lay in bed under the covers while I did my repairs. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. No, I don't think so. Not this time. So, fire starter. That's gold. Okay. Not as gold as the, uh. It's the magnifying glass, but I don't think that's going to be an issue for 25 days if that's all we need. Cookie pot, we'll take that. And I'm going to get a fire fire going here just to warm up. Um, yeah, let's do that. Should be really high chance of success. Let's just... Uh, I, don't, I don't think I have a torch, do I? Let me see. No. I'm just going to do it the old school way. Not the proper way, but the old school way. We'll, we'll up our chances. I don't think the fire starter's probably going to be up. Oh, it's 90% for the fire striker? Okay, let's do that. I figured matches would be easier, but hey, whatever, man. So you guys, the, the show alone that I keep raving about whenever a new season comes out, um, season six is available on uh, Netflix, so you can go check it out. Make sure it's trending anyway. It's a great show. It doesn't surprise me that it's, it's trending. It's, it's such a good show. But uh, yeah, I just want to pass that along to you guys. Um, let's throw something on here. Keep it going. A little bit of cedar firewood. There we go. And while we're here, we might as well, I don't know, cook up some water. Let's do a little water cooking. Let's do a little water cooking. There we go. I'm, uh, yeah, really stoked about Alone doing so well. There we go. Might as well do that, too. That's going to be 19 minutes until melted. I don't know. It That might melt completely. I don't know. But let's go ahead and break this down and get that sweater repaired because I do have a a kit for that now. Okay. I, I, this is probably going to take... I don't know how long it'll take to repair the sweater. Let's see. Where's my sweater area? Right here? Yeah, let's get rid of that t-shirt. Let's throw that sucker on. It's going to be way better than a t-shirt even in its uh, less than stellar shape. So, there that is. Um, I think that's on the outside. It's hard to tell without taking this off. Let me take this off real quick. Take off. Yeah, yeah. It... Really, when it's that far underneath the, the top layer, it's not a, not a big deal. Uh, they gave us hand protection, too, and a hat. That's so... We're so spoiled. Look at us. Okay, let's go ahead and do a repair. It's going to take one hour. Really? Ugh. 30 minutes. Until melted, and then until boiled. Let's do this. Let's pass a little bit of time here. Warm it up nicely. The fire isn't super hot. We can add a little bit more to it, I think, can't we? Let's add some sticks. What was going on there? That was weird. There we go. Let's up the, up the output there a little, shall we? And I really don't want to have the fire go out either. I could break up this chair real quick. Uh, it's going to take an hour just to do that. Uh, uh, do you have some wood? She's got to have some wood lying around here somewhere. We're going to go find some wood real quick. They're going to have some in one of these sheds. I guarantee it. There's going to be a log or something. You'll see. Mark my words. All right, let's go do this. This is a blizzard. Yeah, it might be a blizzard. Oh, well, we found a stick. And there's another hatchet. What is it here? A hatchet. That's what we got there. That's always a good spot. Right here. Uh, let's check a couple of these houses for some wood. There might be something somewhere. Oh, not that one. It was uh, closed off. They are not 
pro looter, apparently. As far as all the drama going on with the police, yeah, it's it is what it is. I've I've gotten, I've not had anybody say anything uh, nasty towards me or anything like that while I've been on duty. I'm I'm lucky. I don't work in a city that is very anti-police or anything like that. Everybody like, hungry, ooh, like a coho? Heck yeah! I work in a village where, like yesterday, I got. Someone just came up and said, thank you for your service. You know, we really appreciate it. We got your back. And it's like, I don't know, about 30 times. I, I had it during the large protest where everybody came up and they were all being very supportive of us. Even the people who were protesting were respectful. But I think that's because it was a mutual respect, you know. Um, as long as they were being peaceful, you know, I'm all about constitutional rights. And uh, I'm lucky I'm at a department where that's that's the primary focus make sure we go home safe and make sure we don't intrude upon anybody's constitutional rights and we do the job in a way that is is supportive of that gear. you know mindset so more chips hey 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 we're getting there. Gotta get that. I need to find some maple syrup up in here. Uh, I haven't found any yet, but I did find a coho. That was kind of cool. Um, how are we doing on water? We're pretty high on water. Okay, plus we're boiling some. All right, let's head on back. I don't know. Might have to break up some wood or something like that. Ooh, I thought it was gonna crash or something. I don't know what was going on there. There might be some here at the credit union. Some wood. It's making my head feel thick. Where are the wolves at? Probably there's wolves everywhere around here. Nothing. Okay. I really want to get this uh, sweater repaired. It's like 27 here. Once we get that repaired. Oh, cardboard box. I thought it was going to be crackers. Alright, more water. And more candy bars. We're gonna, at, at this rate, we're going to get fat. That's going to be our big problem here. We're going to be become fat and lazy survivors. Nah, I'm going to leave that behind. I think I've got a couple of those already. I don't really need any more. I could use cash. A hey, rifle round. I just need to find that rifle that goes with it. Nothing. Okay. Nope. Okay. Well... Go here, folks. Let's uh, some herbal tea. I'll take some of that. What else you got? What am I missing? You gotta be a piece of wood around here somewhere. There's always some random piece of wood somewhere. Can't search that. Okay. Wait. Oh, what's this? Candy bar. Okay. Some work boots. That's gonna be better than what I have. Let's switch those out right away. Ricky tick. Okay. How's my temp doing? Still 27, but those are better protection and just better in general. Ragged sweatshirt. Let's throw that on if we can. Decent sweatshirt. Ragged sweatshirt. Let's stick with the decent one. Yeah. But that'll be some good cloth. Not that that's too hard to find, but oh, we're finding lots of lots of ammo for our pistol. That's good. And a piece of cloth. Okay. I need a pry bar, don't I? Excellent. Oh, an energy drink. I don't think I've ever drank one of the energy drinks. Ooh, that's going to be good. It looked like it was in decent shape, too. Oh, it's all right, but it's better than what I have, which is right there. So, yeah. You can see it goes up there. Wonderful. Got to represent Canada on Canada Day, don't we, folks? I really appreciate all you guys uh, you. supporting the channel. Sticking with me during this uh, hiatus for the move. I do want to say thank you for that. I felt, I always feel guilty when I'm not pushing out um, steady content. It's just the, it's just the uh, downside to being, you know, like a responsible adult, you know bother and things like that. Goodness gracious. A line. Alright. 
Oh, some fishing. Uh oh, we got the. Oh, uh, we're already overweight. All right, let's do this. There it was around 54, I think. I think we'll have to get some good wood together in order to survive the night. I don't know. Uh, 53. No, I can sleep in that bed. That's that bed's warm enough, so we can recover there. We'll drink that herbal tea. We'll be in good shape there. It says uh, 54, maybe 20-ish. Uh, 53. Okay. So be it. So be it. What do we got here? Yeah, 20. All right. Try to not overrun. Oh, I just overran it. Okay, I gotta go all the way around again. This is like 57. 54, 20, 57. All right, let's try again. At least we know what the numbers are now. 53, 54, 20, there, and 57-ish. No, 55. Okay. Big bucks, no whammies. Could end up being flare shell. Cash. I'm gonna leave that behind. Rifle cartridge. We'll take that. Okay. Oh, a dead guy with a knife and cat. He's a robber. <laughs> take the rifle cartridge again. Take the knife. Now we got ourselves a hatchet and a knife. And we're not even... We're like 26 minutes into the episode or so. So what do we got here? I'm going to open up all these dang safety deposit boxes. And I'm going to take that fishing line. I don't know why you put fishing line in a safety deposit box. I don't know. So I was looking at my nephew's uh, baits at, at Dick's. I was over there buying a soccer ball for my daughter. And, uh, I, you know, the, the Guggen squad. And, uh... Wait. I was looking at one of his bases like $30. I'm like, jeez. I remember when I bought you $80 worth of, ba of of baits and lures for the summer on a on a fishing trip and you were like, it, you walked out with an armful of, of stuff and you're like, oh, this is great. I'll be able to fish all, all summer long. And now you're selling one for like $30? You know, slow clap there for him, I guess. I That's amazing. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, needless to say, I didn't buy a stinking baits. They're too expensive. <laughs> but, uh, he's doing good. He's doing good, as usual. Very, uh, goal-oriented, that kid is. Very, very, um, yeah, very focused. All right, let's get over here. Let's get warmed up a little bit. I don't know, this fire's probably freaking out by now. I've dilly-dallied around so long. But... It's okay. We can always go upstairs and warm up if need be. <laughs> Is it still going? Now it burned out a long time ago. This one's probably dry. Oh, yeah, that's dry. This one's non potable, but we do have uh, water tablets, so I'll take that. This pack is getting too and I think what I'll do here is I'll. Oh, I can't run now. It's too heavy. We're going to have to sort things out here a little bit. Yeah, I do want to go down to the farmer's. Uh, the farmhouse, because he will be... Uh, should we repair this for an hour? That's going to be really... That's going to really hurt us with the, uh, the cold. I need to... I need to... I need to rest for, like, two hours here. Just to, uh, warm up. He's thirsty, isn't he? Let's give him something to drink. Got plenty of food and stuff. We'll probably need to just eat our way out of this, uh, weight issue. So let's just pass a little bit of time here. Warm up. It's a slow warm up though. You see that two hours is gonna get me like three quarters warm. Um, so luckily it's not too bad in here now. It's a pretty slow burn, or not really burn, the opposite of the burn, but pretty so slow freeze for me. So let's go ahead and repair this. Hopefully we get it the first time. We get thirty more percent of it, percent out of it. That'll help take our temperature up. So at least when we're indoors, we're warming up. That's my goal. Okay, this would probably take us up to 29, 30 degrees, 29 degrees. We need to get to 32. Um, let's, uh, how are we doing? Yeah, we're not too bad. And the more we repair it, the better it'll be. And we can go around and repair these other things. I don't know. That could be repaired. We actually start off with thermals. That's nice. Yeah, we could repair that hat. We could tear down these shoes and repair these boots, hopefully. Repair those gloves. We should get close to 32 degrees just based upon these repairs. So... Let's do that. Let's repair this one. Big bucks, no whammies. 
Dang it. That was a whammy. Let's do it again. I could eat anything. There we go. Maybe 30? Are we at 30 now? 31. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, we're really close. Uh, where are we at with that shirt? That's 87%. We're not going to get much out of, more out of that. Let's do this hat. That should be a pretty quick chance. Yeah, 47. That'll take us up to 100%. 30 minutes. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. Did it take us 32? All right, we're at 32. We're, at least we're not freezing. We're stable. Oh, we are warming up, actually. Okay, it gives us a warm-up. It's going to be so slow, but that's all right. That's all right. All right, guys, let me um, let me run down here. Save the game. I, like I said, for this little event, these videos are going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, I'm just testing the waters, making sure the uploads are working good. I, I've already tested it with one upload, and it was, it was pretty freaking fast, honestly. Wow, this is cool. Oh, there's a new uh, filter here that you can use. The vignette and the uh, uh, noir, I think it is. Let me see. I wonder if I can display. Is it going to be in here? Oh, image filter. Here we go. Her oh, heritage and noir. Okay. Yeah, this is like a vignette here. I want to go with heritage. So, event yeah, inspired in the, the heritage is inspired by a classic national film board content from the 70s and 80s. So, like those old, you know, videos. So we'll save that. Hit back. All right. Ooh, it, oof. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see inside the house. If it's that hard to see inside the house. I know it's dark. It's starting to get dark, but let's see what it looks like outside. Whoa. My eyes are tripping out. I can't, I can't do that. It, look, it's even got the TV screen on the sides. The old cathode ray tubes. The CRT, man. Now that was some refresh rate right there. <laughs> All right, let's let's try. Let's try Dwar. See how that looks. Make a decision here. Oh, it's all black and white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. Oh, let's see how it is on the inside. I want to see how messed up it is. It might be easier to see. Who knows? Yeah, it's a. I think it's about the same as. What is that? About the same as normal? Let's see here. None. Let's try this now. Yeah, it's about, the, yeah, as far as visibility, it's better. Uh, the heritage is really hard to see inside. So I'm going to stick with just a plain old standard, no filter. And uh, we'll end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I want to make sure I didn't miss a rifle here. Otherwise, I know I'd hear about it in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you do subscribe so you get updated whenever I release videos. And if you want to become a producer like all these other fine folks out here, Head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurize2 for as little as $1 per month. You can help me pay my cellular bill instead of my uh, high-speed internet bill. <laughs> and keep, keep things running here. Again, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care.